Welcome to my channel, A Local Coqui Boxing TV, where I give my honest predictions about up and coming boxing matches, right? This pandemic has really kicked a lot of our behinds, right? For boxing, a lot of people are um, canceling fights because of COVID-19, Oscar De La Hoya, Tyson Fury, Tio Fimo Lopez, uh, the list goes on and on. Brandon Figueroa also tested positive. Um, a lot of good fights have been postponed because of this COVID-19. But on October 23rd on ESPN in Atlanta, Georgia, Jamel Simplify Herring is going to defend his WBO super featherweight title against Shakur Stevenson. Let's get right into it, guys. Jamel Herring, he's 35 years old. He's from Karam, New York. All right. He stands at 5 feet 10 inches tall, um, has a 72-inch arm reach. He's a WBO 130-pound champion, all right? Shakur Stevenson, he's 24 years of age. He's from Newark, New Jersey. He's a southpaw also. He's 16 and 0 with 8 knockouts, 5 feet 7 inches tall, has a 68-inch arm reach, all right, this is his title shot. This is his shot at the title at 130 pounds. He was a champion at 126. He moved up in weight. Now he's getting his title shot. Now Jamel Herring is, he's a good fighter. He's tall for that weight class. He's a big guy, you know, for that weight class, of course. You know, you've seen exactly what happened when he, he fights these smaller guys. He just... He dominates um his last fight it was against carl frampton carl frampton in that fight was the favorite even though jamel herring was the champion and still is the champion right now shakur stevenson his last fight um on espn against that nakatali guy or whatever from africa the cop from africa uh he he said it himself he just you know, he didn't have it in him to, to get him out of there. You know, uh, Nakatali was kind of more on the defense in that fight. So it was kind of hard for Shakur Stevenson to really get his punches off or whatever. But he did what he had to do to win. He won like every round, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we really haven't seen Shakur Stevenson ever really get hurt or clipped. I mean, the guy's defense is top notch, you know. I just personally think it's Shakur Stevenson's time to shine. It's 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 his era. It's his era now. Um, a lot of these guys is their era. Tank's era. You know these young guys coming up. It's their time. Shakur Stevenson was the 2016 silver medalist in the Olympics. So he is transitioning over into the pros. The beast, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we've seen videos. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out on YouTube. You guys could just search it. Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson sparring, stuff like that. Like, you see, like, Shakur Stevenson is really good. His defense, his offense, it's really good. And I, I see this fight playing out like that. I just see him not getting hit at all. Everything that Jamel Herring throws is is just going to be just slip, slipped off, just counter, just Shakur Stevenson is a monster, man. He's one of the best out right now as far as, you know, the defensive fighters go. He trains with Terrence Crawford. He sees Andre Ward and, like, Tim Bradley as, like, older brothers and stuff, you know what I mean? He has a lot of good mentors around him, you know what I mean? A lot of good mentors. He's trying to chase that WBC uh, shrap. Oscar Valdez, we've seen what happened in his last fight, even though he tested positive for Fetterman. But whatever. This fight, I don't know if I see a knockout, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't see a knockout because I just haven't been seeing really too much knockouts from Shakur Stevenson. I don't know if he just doesn't have the power or he's, he's not like attacking at the moment where his opponent is hurt. But I just don't see a knockout in this fight. I see um, a unanimous decision. Shakur Stevenson pretty much taking over every round, you know?
Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, all right? Do me a favor, like, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more prediction fights. Uh, Shakur Stevenson most likely will be the favorite in this fight. So if you're a betting man like myself, I do bet on fights sometimes. Um, Shakur Stevenson would definitely be like the person that you would bet on because he's he's going to win. But you never know. No disrespect to the Marine. Shout out to the Marines, you know, protecting our country in the USA. Um, let me know what you guys think, guys. Peace.